Hello, my name is Albert Amparan. I'm a CTG technical marketing engineer and I focus on premises meetings. In this video, we will begin with a trial mode CMS and configure smart licensing and CMM allocating licenses to that CMS. There are three options for deploying CMS 3.0 with smart licensing, trial deployments, existing 3.0 deployments, and new CMS 3.0 deployments. In an earlier video, configuring a CMS for trial mode was demonstrated. This video will demonstrate how to take that trial CMS and configure it for smart licensing. Now let's take the CMS from a trial mode to using smart licensing. We select settings, then licensing, and click on the link for the smart software manager. From your account in Smart Software Manager, select your account and copy the token. Now let's go to our CMM to register the CMS with Smart Licensing. We select the Register button and paste in the token that we copied from the Smart Licensing Manager. Once successful, the CMM will display a message indicating success for the registration. Let's take a look at some of the details for the CMS and CMM. Here you can see that we have not allocated licensing from the Smart Licensing Manager to CMS. Now let's allocate some of our Smart Licenses to the CMS. Here we see our Smart Software Licensing page that lists all of the licenses that we are entitled to. For the purposes of this video, we will be allocating personal multi-party licenses and shared multi-party licenses. Here you can see that we have 100 PMP and 10 SMP licenses available in our smart account. Let's go to the licenses page. Here you see that we can edit all of the license types, meetings, recording or streaming, and customization. If you recall, earlier we saw that we have 100 personal multi-party and 10 shared multi-party licenses in our smart account. Let's select meetings and allocate those licenses. You'll notice that we see the shared and personal multi-party licenses allocated are now reflected in CMM as well as being in compliance. Now that we have configured smart licensing, let's take a look around CMM. On the CMM front page, we can see that the CMS is in compliance for meetings and have a notification about allocation for some of the license types. Let's take a closer look at our licensing in CMM. Here we see the shared and personal multi-party licenses we allocated, as well as the unallocated licenses that we saw reported on the front page. The CMS was originally in trial mode, and as you can see, the other options are still available for trial. Smart licenses are allocated by CMS instance. Here you see two CMS clusters being managed by a single CMM with the licenses we just allocated. To allocate smart licenses separately, additional smart license accounts are required. In this video, we discuss transitioning trial mode licensing to smart, allocating smart and trial licensing together, as well as licensing multiple clusters of CMS managed by CMM. I would like to thank you for your time, and for more information, please refer to Cisco documentation on cisco.com.